Studies show exposure to indoor mold is linked to mental and physical health problems in both adults and children. A local family found out they had no place to turn after moving into a mold infested apartment in Largo. I team investigator Jackie Calloway shares their story. Plus, if you're renting, what you can do to protect yourself. Whenever we moved in, I immediately said something's wrong and we moved in. It was the 29th. Jess Laser said she got sick days after moving into this unit at Somerset Apartments in Largo. The puffy eyes, I was getting hives, um, really nasally congested. Mold expert Michael Rubino told the I-Team toxic black mold covered the floors underneath the vinyl in the family's apartment. Anytime you have too much particulate that enters the body, you're going to feel some adverse health reactions. Jess says she moved with her two young sons to Florida from North Carolina and did not actually see the unit until moving day. I put all my money into this apartment. And did you want me to give you her number, sir? Pinellas Code Enforcement fields calls daily from tenants complaining of problems in their homes. Division manager Jude Reason advises renters to never sign a lease without first walking through the home or apartment. Complete as, as thorough of an inspection as possible. When it comes to mold, Look for signs of water damage on walls or ceilings. Check tubs and shower areas for visible mold. Check sink cabinets for water damage. And check around the air handler for signs of mold. There are guidelines on how to safely remove mold. We've posted those on our website at abcactionnews.com. Tonight, we're taking a deep dive into what happened to the Laser family, and we'll show you why in Florida, tenants dealing with toxic mold have almost no protection or place to turn for help. I'm my team investigator Jackie Calloway taking action for you.